in this problem we are looking at uh, one of the most beautiful theorem in uh, analysis known as the Baer's theorem or the Baer category theorem it has many many applications uh, the proof th though we are going to do it in the case of the real line R but uh, once one sees the proof carefully and study it you can see that in fact you can apply to complete matrix spaces as well so uh, many of these theorems, in fact, that were proved first on the real line uh, were uh, extended to the case of complete matrix spaces in a very um, similar way in any case, so here we are given a sequence of okay, open dense subsets of R and the claim is that the intersection of the ONs is not empty and is dense. It is a G delta dense in R. So it is a G delta dense in R. <coughs> okay, so how do we prove this? Um, we want to show that let x belongs to R and epsilon positive. So we want to show that in fact this is the claim. Uh, let us prove that x minus epsilon x plus epsilon intersect all of them okay is not empty. That's what we want to show. Okay, so this is a just a tricky uh, construction of how to do it, where uh, sooner or later we are going to use the completeness of R. So we are going to build a sequence which is going to be Cauchy, therefore it converges, and that's, that's how we are going to get that point which belongs to this intersection. So first of all, let, uh, let us start. So we have x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon. And we start with O0, so we know that the intersection with O0 is not empty, and therefore there exists x0 in O0 intersect x minus epsilon x plus epsilon. So your x0 is somewhere uh, inside, and since this intersection is open, so we can find an open interval around x0 okay, which is going to sit inside both of them okay, but what we want in fact is to take it small enough okay, such that the closed interval okay, small enough inside okay, is, is going to be inside still this set, so there exists epsilon zero, basically it's epsilon zero less than epsilon over two, such that x zero minus epsilon zero, x zero plus epsilon zero closed sits inside okay O zero intersect this interval. Okay, so we have x0 minus epsilon 0, x0 plus epsilon 0 inside O0 intersect x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon. <coughs> okay, just let us show how to, to, to construct the next one. So the same. So let now we use the fact that what uh, O one is dense, so O one intersect x zero minus open now is not going to be empty, okay? And therefore there exists x one. Let x one belongs to O one intersect x zero minus epsilon zero x zero plus epsilon zero, okay? Again by openness we can find. Uh, an interval around 
x1 inside and I'm going to choose the uh, length so is centered at x1 uh, uh, the the radius of that interval okay is going to be uh, so small so here there exists epsilon 1 less than epsilon 0 over 2 such that the x1 minus epsilon 1 x1 plus epsilon 1 is in O1 intersect x0 minus epsilon 0 x0 plus epsilon 0 so you see this by induction okay uh, we construct okay xn and epsilon n such that uh, epsilon n plus 1 is going to be less than epsilon n over 2 and the interval xn plus 1 minus epsilon n plus 1 xn plus 1 plus epsilon n plus 1 is included in on intersect uh, n plus 1, sorry, xn minus epsilon n, xn plus epsilon n. So what happened now? First, okay, so note that we have the distance between xn and xn plus 1, which is less than epsilon n, okay? And epsilon n is less than epsilon over 2 to the power n, the way we build it, huh? we cut by half at every step, so it's going to be less than the original one which is epsilon over 2 to the power n. Since the series sigma of epsilon over 2 to the power n is convergent, then this will imply, so this will imply that the sequence xn is Cauchy. Okay? So now let x star be the limit of xn when n goes to infinity. Okay? So, of course, here we are using the fact that r is complete. Okay? So now the claim is, so the claim is that x star belongs to the intersection of all the ONs intersect with x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon, and this will finish the proof of the first claim that this intersection of these dense open sets is in fact a dense subset of R. Uh, how do we prove this? So just note that if we, ch we take these intervals xn minus epsilon n xn plus epsilon n they are decreasing okay they are getting smaller and smaller okay by construction huh? and this will imply uh, so the limit belongs to all of them huh? so the x star because the limit is epsilon n in fact, is the intersection of all of them. Okay? So, in particular, uh, uh, one, one more thing. Huh? So, since uh, xn minus epsilon n, xn plus epsilon n is included in on minus 1. <coughs> intersect the open interval so this will imply so x star belongs to o n for all n okay that's number one great so now why is it in x minus epsilon x plus epsilon that's because 
all of them are decreasing, so xn minus epsilon n, uh, xn plus epsilon, uh, sorry, sorry. So x star belongs to the first one, x0, uh, sorry, uh, x1 minus epsilon 1, x1 plus epsilon 1, which is included in the open interval x0 minus epsilon 0, x0 plus epsilon 0, which is included in x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon. So we have x star, which also belongs to x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon, and since it belongs to all of the ONs, we know that x star will belong to x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon, intersect all of the ONs, okay, which shows that this intersection is not empty, and therefore this intersection of the ONs is dense on the real line. The next one, which is very amazing as an application of this, of course, is to show that Q is not a G delta, okay, so here, application of this, Q is not a G delta, okay, so I assume not, okay, so Q is equal to intersection of ONs, where ONs are open, so Q is a subset of ON for every N, sorry, and since Q is dense on the real line, so ON is dense in uh, R, okay? So now we know that Q is countable and therefore I can write Q as Rn uh, for n equals 0 to 1 to etc. Et because it's a 1 to 1 bijection between Q and the natural numbers. So now take On star to be On intersect the complement of Rn. In other words, we are taking out Rn from On. Eh? We know that On contains Q, but we are taking Rn out. Okay? So this set is open because it is an intersection of two open sets. Okay? So and it is also dense because we are just removing one element. It's open and is dense. Because ON is dense. Huh? Great. So uh, therefore Baird, okay, Baird's theorem tells us that the intersection of all the ON stars is dense. But this intersection, in fact, okay, is equal to the intersection of the ONs uh, minus Q. That's exactly what it is. So, uh, since the intersection of the uh, QN, the ONs is Q, so we are getting Q minus Q, which is the empty set. And the empty set is not dense on the real line. This will be our contradiction. So Q is not G delta. So Q so is not a G delta. And if Q is not a G delta, the complement will not be an F sigma, meaning that the irrationals is not an F sigma.